up everybody I just got home like 10 minutes ago from the gym and from Rite Aid I got some stuff not exactly what I wanted but it had to do so I got some dried mango and the macros for these actually aren't that bad so we're gonna get that uh, thumbnail action going look at that 140 calories 0 grams of fat 0 grams of um cholesterol, 50 grams of sodium, 34 grams of carbs, and 0 grams of protein. But, it's mostly carbs, so, yeah, it's like sugar and, um, sugar and carbs, basically. And I also got this beautiful drink right here, it's called Body Armor. I don't know if you guys have this at your stores or not, but Target has these, and I think Walmart has them too. Um, they're actually pretty good. This is the strawberry banana flavor, since we can't eat bananas no more. Um, the sad part is I actually bought some bananas yesterday. And sadly, or not yesterday, I actually chopped some up yesterday and put them in the freezer. But I, it's kind of awkward because I've seen that AIDS thing on bananas. Like people are starting to inject them with AIDS and I'm, in my mind, I'm, I'm not... I can't see why anybody would do that to bananas. Like, that's messed up. Like, what did bananas do? We share kind of genes with bananas. Um, kind of. A little bit. But, um... Yeah, I just got home. I'm kind of sore. I actually wanted to tell you guys about what happened. Because I was at the gym. My workout was cut, like, really, really short. Just because I almost snapped some shit up. And... I'll be real with you, it sucked. Like, I was doing, I, I had a routine going. Like, the, my routine, I had it going today. Like, I didn't know what I was going to hit, but I was going to hit something. And what happened is, I was going to do my le my legs, my shoulders, and my, do some cardio. I did my legs and my cardio. I, I, I'll be real with you guys, I don't do cardio. Like, I hate cardio so much right now. Because since I, my pacemaker is putting, it's like, putting so much, um, it's making it to where cardio seems dangerous to me. But, um, now I do, like, some cardio, like, kickboxing and, um, mixed martial arts. But not, like, a lot, just because I can't really, like, be all that active right at the moment. But, um, so I did my legs, and then my knee started to buck me. Like, it, well, it wasn't really my knee, it's more like my, um, like, near my kneecap. And I, I'm not, I'm not injured or anything like that, because I don't, like, go balls deep, well, go balls out, I should say. I don't go balls out when I'm, um, that's not a good way to put it. I don't go crazy when I'm, like, if I'm doing my legs or whatever, I, I won't do that. Um, I'll go to failure, but I won't do anything like super, super crazy. But uh, I gotta like sit in different positions right now because my my knee is it feels awkward. And then um my shoulder. I'm gonna tell you guys what happened. So after I got done doing cardio, because I forgot that I was gonna do my shoulders, and I did my legs. I made it through that, thankfully, because I didn't like I was trying to do my hamstrings, and my hamstrings were like. Um, they were feeling it. They were feeling it, and I almost had a cramp. So I stopped. I stopped. And I was like, no, no, no. So I started stretching, and then after that, I went to go do some cardio. I did 13 minutes. I know 15 is a good timing to do cardio, but I did 13 minutes of cardio, and then I did like a five minute cool down. And then the cool down, the part that was messed up was that. The cooldown stopped at like 30 seconds into it because my heart rate wasn't up. But here's the thing: I I was doing the in like the incline. Um, the the treadmill. While I was at the gym. The treadmill kept climbing up, so it was pissing me off. And then when I finally got done, because I lowered the time, my ankles were not about to be going through this. Like my legs are burning from already doing my from working on my legs, and then. I had to endure the treadmill doing some crazy shit like raising itself up so every time like every like 30 seconds the um the incline will go up more 
And when I got done, it was at like a height at like 8.9 or whatever. And I was not feeling that. So I, I lowered it all the way back down to zero because I'm a quitter. But uh, um, I lowered it down to zero and then I put the like the speed way down because it was, uh, be real, you guys, it was at 1.3. But I was not feeling it. I wasn't feeling doing cardio, so my heart rate wasn't up there. But, um, yeah, so when I got to my shoulder, when I got to my shoulders, because I started off, I was going to do some um, crossbody extension. I guess that cable extensions or whatever. Crossbody um, lateral raises. And I, I was going to do that. I was already getting ready to do it. And then I, I could not lift up the pulley. Or the cable to save my life like I couldn't do it even on like really low like 7 12 and 15 pounds I couldn't do it so I was like I'm not doing this so I was over here trying to figure out what 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 am I gonna do I could have did dumbbells that was the one thing I, I had planned is I was gonna do dumbbells if all else fails and everything failed and I was not feeling it so I was to the shoulder press machine and every gym has this shoulder press machine where you like sit down and your butts like this you're kind of like angle and then you just press up well I pressed up I did that like three three sets did three sets and then I only had um like 80 pounds I think it's 80 pounds or 90 no 80 it was like 80 80 pounds on each side and so that was like a, a plate and or not a plate like 45 pounds and then a, a, either a 25 or a 35 I had that on there I did that for three sets and then the last set got me like I was almost at snap city because I, I had my right arm up and I was going I had it up there and then all of a sudden I feel this like this kind of nudging feeling like a sharp pain in my shoulder and I was like nope that ain't, that's not going down so I dropped the I dropped the weight and I was like no I'm not doing this I'm done I can't take this because I I would do my shoulders more often as you guys can see I don't have very big shoulders but the problem isn't that I don't want to hit them because I do hit them it's just some things are hard to do if like if you're liking body parts, like, you gotta figure out what works for you. I haven't really figured out what works for me. Um, minus, like, if I do, like, a plate raises, because I do front raises, and I do, um, shoulder presses, I guess. And then, for my sides, I do with dumbbells. So, because if I do dumbbells, in, like, the, um, out to the side for shoulder presses, typically, I get like a lot of pain in my lats so I'm not trying to do that but yeah I almost went to snap city so I'm a um John Kennedy if you're watching this this is like when you went to snap almost went to snap city and then yeah cuz I've seen a lot of youtubers do that where they're like um they thought they had whatever they were doing like, I thought I had this. Like, I thought I could do it. And I could go up to two plates on the shoulder press. But today was not a good day for me. Like, it was... My legs were hurting. Um, my shoulders were hurting. And like my shoulders were hurting a lot. And so, I was like, okay, I'm not doing this. So, I, I, I quit. Oh, I didn't quit. But I just stopped my workout and went to go get some food. I didn't get any food. But I got these dried mangoes. And surprisingly, they taste okay. But this kept me, so this got me. This I went to Frosty King too, and if you don't know what Frosty King is, it's like take a Wendy's Frosty and multiply that by like 26 billion times bigger and better, and then there you go. Um, it's a, like way better than Wendy's. That's all I'm saying. Um, so I had that. I had a giant or a large protein shake I was gonna record it on my fitness pal but honestly my fitness pal is not helping me with this whole large protein shake for Frosty King thing so I was like it's not worth recording so I recorded these mangoes on there so
so that's 140 calories right there but anyways guys that's it i am sore than a mugger i gotta leave for work in three hours I, i'm not looking forward to it i'm not i'm not i'm not looking forward to it but anyways i'm gonna do a little flexing for you guys because got the sleeve or arms hugging the sleeves i just got this they coming up though it's coming up ah I'm gonna do a little flexing for you guys. <sighs> my goal, my goal is to be bigger and better than, well not bigger, but I, I definitely will say, I want to be, I want to look better than Jason Genova, because I've seen him, like I, I've seen a couple of his videos, not, okay I'm lying, I've seen a lot of his videos, but I've seen the one that he posted recently, he looks chunky, so I'm, um, I'm watching people's progress as they go, and I don't know, like I see a lot of YouTubers out there. It's awkward. Like, I seen a YouTuber earlier while I was at the store. <laughs> and he was vlogging at Rite Aid. And I was like, I'm not about to go do this. Like, that's awkward. Because he was about to post what he was eating. And I guess he, it was his um, refi day or whatever. At least that's what I think he told me. Um, no, he said it was car backloading or some, something like that. But, um, that's it, guys. That's it. Let's get back to Jackson coming at you live to tell you don't forget to like the video subscribe comment down below yeah. I'm just saying um yeah don't don't forget to if you didn't catch that don't forget to like the video subscribe comment down below let me know what you like um not what you like what you think and, um, yeah, I'm out.